If you want to change your life in 365 hours as a creative person, the answer is way simpler than we want it to be. It's one that frustrates me when I think about it, which is why I'm making this video because I need to hear it. This is really a message to myself and I think if you clicked on this video then you probably also need to hear it. But as someone who wants to be creative, that has ambitions and goals with big ideas, the best way to change my life in the next year and change your life in the next year is by, at minimum, focusing one single hour every day on what it is that you want to get better at. It sounds so simple. It's frustrating. It's annoying. But the truth is 99% of us probably are not even giving one hour of our time to the thing that we are so deeply passionate about and that we care so much about doing one day because you get caught in the routine of your day to day, you got other responsibilities, people are busy. And then on top of that, you got all the self doubt and the struggle of, do I know how to do this thing? Am I this good at, at writing yet? Do I know how to code this program that I want to, you know, create this build business off of? Like there's so many things that can get in the way, but at the core of it, what would your life look like if you spent just one hour a day on the thing that you love to do? So this could look like drawing for one hour a day, watching a handful of tutorials that just take you the full hour every single day. This could look like if you want to play the guitar and become really, really good at it. It's playing scales and songs just for an hour every single day. It's so simple. I'm just going to keep saying that it's so simple, yet we don't do it. And then I think the reason we don't do it is because we don't set ourselves up for success with it, which is the most important component of it and something that I have really felt like I've started to crack in my own life that I think will help you a lot. So for me, I would say I've been the most consistent with some things such as making videos this last week. And the unlock for me was that I created this setup that I get to sit down in and it's ready to go. I just have to turn a couple things on, press a couple buttons, but then we're going and I'm filming and I'm doing this. And the unlock for me was that even though I was sitting in this desk set up and I had like the lights and the tripod stuff set up, the camera was sitting next to me and days would go by where I'd be like, oh, I'll put the camera up on the tripod and then I'll start recording. And then suddenly the day was over and I didn't do that at all. Pretty much the exact same thing, but the difference was I finally was like, well, let me get the camera on there, plug everything in, set up. And now it's super easy for me to sit down and make some videos. And now I'm feeling extremely happy about it. And because I started doing that, I've now spent more time this week, more than an hour, looking into things to improve my setup and improve things about the way I'm going to make videos and looking more into ideas of how I can take stuff further down the line. And I realized that your environment really does shape the way that you create. There might be some people that you know can create in any environment, doesn't matter where they are. I'm envious of them. I'm jealous of them. If that's you, please just teach us the ways. But for me, I realize that if I have a space that's specific for something and I can rely on that like 95% of the time to be where I'm going to do something, that's going to be the unlock for me. And so that's what I created with, with my setup here. And it's been major for me. And so now my plan is can I sit down? And can I either learn stuff about videos or filmmaking or can I film videos for an hour every single day? Just give at least an hour of my time because what's interesting is other points in my life, I've gone through phases where I'm like, okay, I'm going to practice piano for 15 minutes. And the truth is when I practice piano for even 15 minutes, I'm suddenly like, oh, okay, I actually learned something. I'm, I feel like 1% better at this. And now I think through the lens of if I had just given an hour to these different things throughout my life, just for one year, like if I spent an hour playing piano for a year, every single day, I'd be freaking insane, you know, and same with filmmaking, all this stuff. I've wanted to do this for a long time, 
but I kept putting it off. And I think it's because I made it so big in my mind. I think we do that a lot as creative type people as we have these big dreams and we want to do it all in the same day. We want to do it all at the same time. And, you know, overnight success is kind of like what we envision it to be, which doesn't make any sense and is not the case for 99% of people. And it's much easier to be like, instead of achieving all that stuff and whatnot, it's like, well, what needs to happen for that to potentially ever be an option? And the reality is show up every single day for a minimum one hour and focus on the thing that you really love to do. The other part of it to me is there are these things I love to do that I've just been not giving attention to. Like I can't give one hour to making videos or playing the drums, but I can give three to four hours scrolling on my phone every single day. That sounds idiotic when you frame it like that. And so that's been a really big wake up call to me is the amount of time that's spent on things that don't really serve me. And yet I don't spend time on the things that really do fill me up when I go after them. And when I do try them, whether it's a successful video or not, before I filmed this, I messed up multiple times and I've started over. But what's true is even in making mistakes and messing up, that was still more valuable to me than if I were sitting here doom scrolling for another 30 minutes. There's times for doom scrolling. It's, you know, we live in a world where it's super normal. I do it all the time, but I'm just trying to think of like, if I can give all that energy to that and I can't give an hour to the creative projects that I want to do, like, what am I doing? What is the purpose of trying to be a creative person if I won't even give an hour? And so I really think that if you can choose the thing that you want to do for an hour, whether it's writing, painting, coding, filming, whatever it is, set a time roughly each day. For me, it's not the same time every single day. I think when some people say that, I just think that they're way more organized than I'll ever be. But just roughly, like for me, it's after I'm done doing my work for the day, I try to find a time where I can sit down and, and do it. Maybe for some of you, it'd be in the morning. And if you can stick to that, and that's awesome. Whatever works for you. There's no set in stone thing. Doesn't matter for me. I just think if you work on something for an hour every day, you'll be happy. And then the next part is what's an environment you can create that will help set you up for that. So another example for me that I'm I'm about to attempt is I started to write a book recently and I got like 8,000 words into that book and I just stopped. And now it feels very heavy to go back into it. It feels like I can't do it. But one thing I was trying to do was, okay, well, what's a way I could design an environment? And uh, I have an iPad that I could hook a uh, keyboard up to. And I was like, maybe I'll put the iPad in a specific spot in the house. And that's the spot where I go and write. And I don't put so much pressure on myself to finish this book or anything. But if I just sit down and maybe for an hour, maybe for this one, I'm just going to even do 30 minutes. Maybe I'll do 10 minutes. Like just knowing, though, that there is an environment that that's where I go to write because I had that routine for a little bit with it. I was going to the coffee shop every day and then something in the routine changed and then you fall out of it and, it, and it's tough. So to me, I'm like, I wanna create the environment in my home so that way it's even easier to get into that environment. And as I think about things like that, setting up an environment that supports you, making it feel more attainable and easy, you know, you're not writing an entire album in a day. It's like, no, you're writing like a four chords in an hour that you think go together. Simplify it. If we simplify it and then actually just keep doing it consistently, we'll probably get way more done than if we were to overcomplicate it and try to do it in a week. You know, it's probably way more simple to create the things that we want to create if we just gave ourselves a little bit more time, a little bit more grace, and just structure that's easy enough to commit to. And I think that if we all do that, I mean, amazing things could come out of that. There would be incredible videos and businesses built or books created or whatever it is. And one thing I, I want to know is someone commented on one of my last videos was, you know, everything needs to be like put out for the world. I'm not even saying that. To me, it's stuff that you could just create for yourself. It doesn't If you write a book, it doesn't have to go out to anybody. If, it, if you wanted to, then that's great, but it doesn't have to. So I'm never saying that. I think there's totally a valid place for making stuff that's just for you 
but you need to give yourself time to actually do it. And I think you would surprise yourself. I know I've surprised myself when I've gone through these phases. And right now I'm, I'm putting this out there because I'm like, well, if I talk about this, then I got to be, you know, also executing on it. Uh, so just trying to pressure myself into everything that I actually enjoy. And it's like, why do we have to pressure ourselves into doing it? But I think it's just so easy to put it off, get caught up in everything else. It's, I mean, I hope I'm not alone in that. I don't think I am. And just simplifying it down, creating the place for it, and having like a really simple goal in mind has made it feel a lot easier in my head. And I hope it does for you if you've been having really like a tough time sitting down and creating anything, that this process will help you. And what would be amazing is that in a year, how many of you that watch this can come back and say, hey, I stuck to playing drums every day for an hour. I now have a band that I'm playing in and playing live or hey I actually recorded stuff for my podcast every single day for an hour last year and now I have a top podcast there would be so many amazing things that would exist if those of you that are watching stick with whatever your thing is for an hour every day super simple it makes me frustrated but I think that the point is that it's super simple and we just love to overcomplicate it so let me know what your one thing is going to be or if you have a couple things, that's cool too. You want to split it up, whatever it is, but let me know what it is that you're going to be focused on giving attention to for one hour every day for the next 365 days. And I look forward to hearing from you guys and hearing what you're all up to. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy these types of talks and I'll see you again very soon.